Mr. Eric Roberts and you are married? But Emma, um, how... Is there something you would like to say? No, I... I better leave. Have to go. Um, sorry. Eric calmly stopped cutting the steak and looked at Nathan with a piercing gaze. Nathan felt a chill run down his spine. Leaving already? Right. What a pity. Thought you wanted to talk to me. Ha. Go ahead. Talk. Is there something else I can get you? Uh, uh. <laughs> what a weirdo. I'll take back all the allegations against Emma. Her name will be cleared. Please, believe me. After cheating on Emma and attempting to ruin her career, Nathan never imagined things would backfire so badly. Emma, with Eric by her side, seemed like an unstoppable force, and Nathan feared his life was about to take a terrible turn. He had already lost everything. His wealth, his empire, and now, his self-esteem. Do you think Emma still needs your help? Um, then... Eric. I mean, Mr. Roberts. I don't understand. What do you want from me? Well, let my wife decide. Eric gently stroked Emma's cheek. Nathan looked at Emma with a look of disdain. Why are you doing this to me, Emma? You really want to ruin my life? Come on! I've already suffered enough! Nathan, do you know when Eric and I got married? 19th. August 19th. But... but that was... I know. The day of our wedding. The day you cheated on me with Amber. I was there. You... you knew all along? But... then... why did you take Global's torture? You were married to the CEO of Kaleidoscope. You could have easily used him for your career. <laughs> Why? I am not you or Amber. I use things, not people. I know how to make it on my own. Nathan bowed his head in shame and guilt. He knew Emma was a storm that no one could mess with. Of course you wouldn't get it, Nathan. Eric and my relationship is beyond your understanding. You need to have a heart for that. I... I'm... Emma, please, I... No, don't be sorry. If you didn't cheat on me with Amber, how would I ever meet this person I could be today? Three years ago, I was America's top model, and I sacrificed that for your petty love. But today, I'm gonna reclaim that title again. And this time, no one can stop me. Nathan felt a wave of disgust with himself. He regretted cheating on Emma, but it was too late. Karma had played a nasty game with him, and there was no escape. I don't know. I... The exit is that way. Lee. Defeated, Nathan walked towards the door and into the street, all alone. Are you okay, my love? With you by my side, I'll always be okay. Let's get out of here. Yes. Luke was waiting for Emma and Eric with the car outside. Nathan saw them getting inside the car and ran up to them. Emma, please listen. Please. Hey, haven't you had enough? Get lost. Please. Just want to say something to her. And why would she be interested? But, please. Luke, let him. Emma, if there's anything that I- When did you find out Amber was cheating on you with Mark Whitaker? Champagne Hotel, room number 29. I caught them. Saw the footage of her leaving my room and- Thanks. Now get lost. Never show your face again in New York. The car drove off, leaving Nathan completely distraught. Nathan Davis walked away into the night, slowly fading into its depths. Emma rested her head against Eric's shoulder. She felt safe and comfortable with him. Listen, Eric. I was thinking about investigating what Nathan just said about Amber. Hmm. Luke, find me all the details on Mark Whitaker's visit to the Champagne Hotel. I need to know everything he did there. Everything! On it, sir. Emma, I spoke to the reporter who has massive evidence against Whitaker. He had been following him for a month. We've got enough proof to send that sleazeball behind bars for years. He's going down. Emma nodded her head, but did not show any excitement. That's good. Let's take it one step at a time. Emma, Emma, switch on the news. The Top 10's Models Award Committee is releasing a statement right now. It has come to our attention that one of the judges, Mark Whitaker, has violated the rules of the competition by engaging in under-the-table methods to favor one particular model, Amber Lee. We will hold a disciplinary committee to address these issues, and both the parties will be brought before the committee. As of now, all the honoraries presented to Mark Whitaker are being withdrawn by the board. Eric looked at Emma. She was focused on the screen. In that moment, nothing in the world meant more to him than supporting his beloved wife every step of the way. 
We would recommend the fashion and entertainment industry to refrain from working, signing any projects or providing any support to Miss Lee until all the charges have been addressed against her. Thank you. I have studied the reports that Luke gave me, and I think that someone's fueling the fire against you. Look at these media companies. Most of them are under H-World. Eric was aware of the companies that Kaleidoscope had power over, and the others which were controlled by his competitors. Looks like you made a few enemies on your trip to France. But we'll prove your innocence soon. There's no need to worry about that. In that case, will you still want me to join H-World? Of course. But I want you to promise me something. What? What was on Eric's mind? Are there other challenges awaiting Emma in her career? Will she be able to prove her innocence and claim her rightful position at the top of the modeling world? Hi guys, Emma here. Don't let your excitement die. The full audio series is on the Pocket FM app. Tap the link in the description to install now.